This is Twit. This is iOS 14. Uh, mouse support, first class mouse support. I should support. just point out, though, that like this is an iOS 14, like basically like an alpha, like an internal build. That, yeah. And this stuff may or may not be present when it actually goes into beta. Yeah, I think the only lesson is this Apple's looking at it. They've coded it in. But yeah. it doesn't mean it'll come out in 14. Right. They may say after trying it, yeah, this isn't good. It may never come and out. And we don't want it to. Like, if it's buggy, please don't right. do that this year. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> it does wait. show you what Apple's thinking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, we had seen a rumor that there'd be new uh, smart keyboards with trackpads. That apparently is ju is validated in the yeah. code. And mouse cursor support is first class has moved out of accessibility. So um, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I want a mouse on my iPad. Oh, that that's oh. huge. Arrow that, that's keys on your Mac, huge. Leo. If if, uh. if you're if you're gonna justify a thousand dollars for an iPad Pro, and for a lot of I have I was able to justify a thousand dollars for an iPad Pro as is, you really are gonna have to beef up. You're really gonna have to make it uh, functionally and convenience wise competitive with any notebook you can buy for five or six hundred dollars. And the ability to navigate between apps, the ability to uh, take advantage of of uh, having uh, multiple apps open at the same time just by simply moving <laughs> moving your focus from one place to another and also moving data from one place to another. The absence of a trackpad is just absolutely right. huge. And if Apple decides to do it in a way that's not just we are it we uh, not just hey this is an accessibility feature that we decided to just cut copy and paste it into the main uh, main UI. Uh, if they do it better than that, that is going to be a huge huge move forward for the iPad and also. Dare I say it, a step forward for iOS's ability to one day supplant uh, the Mac as as a consumer desktop yeah. offering system. I mean, it can't so, do that until you have Pointer. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, the there'll, thing, there'll, like there'll, always, there'll always be pro. There'll always be pro, but in terms of people coming in to spend a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for a Mac or for for a computer, this is what will allow Apple two or three or four years from now to say, "Hey, well, we do have a MacBook Pro, but those are mostly for people who are doing four K and eight K and sixteen K editing. Uh, but, but maybe you should just take a look at this iPad instead." Yeah. Well, and and I am using. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Renee, and then then you, Alex. Oh no, I was just going to say. My understanding is that this started off sincerely as an accessibility feature, where they had people who just had trouble using uh, the multi-touch, and they have access to mouse and trackpad, so they enabled it as part of assistive touch, almost like a, a, an addition to the switch system. And it, they didn't even announce it at the keynote. Like it wasn't one of the features that Craig Federighi went over when he announced iPad OS. It was really meant. It came from the accessibility team, was meant as an accessibility feature, but the idea of this was is also living in the main OS team, and this is a different implementation than the one that's baked into accessibility, and it's meant to be a first-class citizen. And the thinking is sort of like, you know, Steve Jobs wouldn't allow arrow keys on the original Mac because he wanted, he didn't want people to just use arrow keys and never learn the mouse, and they didn't want to have a mouse or a trackpad on the original iPad, and that's fine as long as it's a tablet, but once you make a keyboard and once you can dock it into that keyboard, you have to provide, you have to make that experience absolutely first class. And this sounds like it does that. Like the mouse pointer appears when you use the trackpad, disappears when you're not using it, doesn't get in your way, but it lets you do pretty much what you need to do with the trackpad. And if they can nail that, I think you you don't get the toaster fridge, which is going to come back and bite them in the butt, <laughs> but you get the best of both worlds. Tap to click, tap with two fingers to right click. Love that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the, the issue is, is for a lot of the precision stuff that I do, I still find that's why I go back to the computer. Like, and, and it would it would eliminate there's probably 30 percent of my work that still requires a an iMac or a Mac or a MacBook or, or something for me to do it. And half of that, I mean, I, I can't say that I would be completely done, but the last bits would be just apps that aren't running on the iPad. You know, you know, a truly fully functional Photoshop and a truly, cool. you know, you know, those types of things, Final Cut and, you know, motion and those types of things. So um, so I think that uh, that mouse is is key. To making that work. You agree, Lori? You're you a master. Yeah, and and there's master. there's also I actually yeah I actually do use the um, the bridge keyboard with trackpad all the time oh. on my MacBook Pro right now, and Wait I, minute, I you love have using one? it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got an early release because they announced that they're that because of the coronavirus <laughs> they're not going to be able to get those out. Yeah, yeah. My, I have a, a pre-release build that and they so sent me. You for like review. it? It works well. I love I love using it. It's it's very clunky. Don't get me wrong. Because of that, because the, the, the target, the bullseye target, and the and it disappears and all that weird. Yeah. Because that's the yeah, old way all, of doing it, or the current way. Exactly. But I I use it and I love it because I if I'm using a keyboard, just like Renee is talking about, if I'm using a keyboard, it's natural for me to want to use a trackpad or a mouse 
to click and, and do all that kind of stuff. And not having to reach my hand to the screen to do that stuff has been really pleasant for me. So um, I do think that's a great idea. And I also think um, in addition to just being better for the pros using an iPad, it's also, we sh- you got to consider, uh, you know, Apple's kind of original idea with the iPad was this idea of getting rid of computers and how, you know, we're moving out of desktop and into laptops and mobility and things like that. And here's a way for um, somebody to get into the Apple environment in in a computer-ish way without needing to buy a full computer. So you don't have to spend $1,000 on an iPad. You can spend $399 on an iPad mini and 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 also get to use tr- a trackpad or mouse. So you're combining the the comfort that people have of using a mouse or trackpad with a tablet, and allow and also allowing people to enter the Apple ecosystem at a much less expensive rate by giving them a little bit of both, a little bit of the computer that you're familiar with, a little bit of the tablet and Apple world that you're you're getting into. So, hey. Beatmaster's got a good idea. What about a dual boot tablet that can be Mac OS and iOS? Well, that'd be amazing. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there was a there was think... a great comment on the nine to five article when they published it. The guy's like, you know what? I I don't care, but I hope all you traditional nerds are super happy about it. Yeah, I feel I, so. Apple's been very clear that they're never going to put touch on the on Mac OS. And I feel like it, they don't have the same sense of purity on iOS. They right? say that, but it's really a resource problem. Like, again, Microsoft, it took them three years. So you're to saying go they from, would if they could? Well, so Microsoft did not have a, like, they don't have a successful touch OS. So they had to take their engineers right. and say, we're going to graph touch onto Windows. Apple has a super successful touch based operating system. Right. And it's hard to justify spending three years taking their non touch operating system and making it touch when they feel like they could just spend those three years making iPad OS good enough that you won't ask for it on the Mac right. anymore. 